In this episode, we're going to assemble the piston rods and put the piston heads onto the piston rods. The way these Yamahas are made, they have individual needle bearings and they have to be arranged to fit inside the small end of the piston rod. In this episode, we're going to show you how to install the needle bearings into the small end of the piston rod, how to attach the piston head onto the piston rod using the wrist pin, and how to clip it in using the little third clip. Okay. All right, so we got the fresh pistons right here. We're just gonna get everything set up. Just make sure you got everything that you need on hand. So we got three pistons, three wrist pins, three rods, three sets of clips, three sets of washers. We got one, two, three, sets of needle bearings we also need a little oil and we also need some needle bearing assembly grease I couldn't find any needle bearing assembly grease so I looked online and said just use Vaseline so that's a hunk of Vaseline I stuck it in the freezer so that it'll be a little bit firmer a little bit more sticky when we do our assembly and now that should be it step number one when you do your need your piston rod assembly I want you to coat the piston pin pin bore needle bearings Pretty much everything here needs to be coated in oil. Second, they wanted to recommend you get a piston pin installation tool. I don't have that. We're going to rough it. I got the old wrist pin. We're going to use that and uh, this Vaseline to get it to get it put together. First, you want to take and get familiar with your piston. You want to know which side is up. So on these, it's marked right here, up. And then there's a little arrow. I think that arrow points to the port side. On the piston rod, there's also an upside on these Yamahas. It's going to be the Yamaha logo. So you want to look for your Yamaha logo. And then the upside on the crown of the piston. And so then that's the orientation you need to put it in. So then it needs to go in like that. So that's the procedure on that. So now that you're familiar with everything, you just want to be mindful of that when you're putting everything together. We watched the YouTube video. They said first thing first is you take your, uh, take your bearings. Do not pull open the packages. That's the one thing we learned from the YouTube video. You want to cut your packages open so that stuff doesn't go popping everywhere. If you're yanking on the package, yanking, 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 you finally pop it and then stuff goes everywhere. You know, you don't want to do that. So you want to cut your tops or your things open. We're going to do one. You want to do one first and then do the other two after? Yeah. yeah. All right. We're going to do one first and then the other two after. So you need a trash can. I need a trash can. You need a color. You need it. We're going to do this first. First things first, they said, is you want to lay out your needle bearings. We should have how many? 30. 30 per pack. So we want to lay out all of them, get them in a nice straight line. All right. Everything is nice and straight. Badao. Credit card. Can you count to 30? Now we got our line. Let's count 30 of them. That's 30. All right, so we got 30 of those. You've been following the book. The book is in a different format than the the uh, Yamaha service manual is in. The book is in more of a written format. The Yamaha service manual is more visual, but the Yamaha manual includes lots of good information. Like right here, page one of assembling the bearings and the pistons. It says right here, count the small end bearing needles. Number of needles per small end is 28 pieces. So. These, this kit, for some reason, it came with 30 bearings inside. I guess it's just a generic kit. But you only need 28. So these two extra, you don't have to worry about them. We're going to just discard these. And once you ensure you have 28, you want to take your needle bearing assembly grease or Vaseline. Chilled, preferably. I chilled it so that it's nice and thick and goopy. And I also threw the wrist, the wrist pin in the freezer just to maintain that uh, the coolness of the Vaseline. So that it stays nice and goopy and you want to just do like Colin's doing right there put a gob on there smooth it out around it right down the middle of your wristband all right so once you got that all spread out take it set it down on your pins your bearings you want to roll it out. All 
Roll it out. Don't worry, you're going to miss a few when you do it. But you can stick them in after you stick it in the little end. Stick it in the little, or you can just stick them on like Colin's doing. You're going to drop a few though during the procedure. So now that you got them nice and tucked in, you can just leave that one out. Cause you're going. All right, now that you got them tucked in, you want to take your rod and you want to line up your rod directly over top looking straight down at it so you can line it up push it on you don't want to force anything you want everything just to slide in easily and once you got that slid on you drop them you just want to work them down in there push them in. your Vaseline is going to hold everything together for you if it starts binding up or getting a little tight you want to give it a little rotation so that you can squeeze that last few in that last few pins in he has one more that needs to go in there all right okay so what's the next step is you want to turn it sideways and you want to get your thrust washer take your thrust washer you want, and it's prescribed on the Yamaha service man you want to put it with the convex side out so get you a nice light figure out which side is the convex side so the convex side is going to be the side with the bump out one side is flat and one side has a bump on it so once you determine that stick it on there all right see that he stuck it on there so now he has his wash thrust bearing assembled on one side so now you want to get your piston you're going to make sure that you have the upside facing up look at the crown of your piston see how it says up right there on your piston where those numbers are that's the upside so you want that force facing up and you want the upside of your ride which is on these Yamahas it's going to be the Yamaha logo that's on that's stamped onto the ride there and you want to do that just like that everything stand together nice and smooth you want to be nice and ginger with it make sure you got your upside on your piston and you want to just line it up in there Try not to lose anything. All right. Now you want to stick your, you want to look down from the top, line it up, and stick your wrist pin down into the bearings without knocking anything crazy. Again, you don't want to force anything. Everything should just slide in there nice and smooth. I need help. You need another hand? Need another hand. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so once you get that sliding in, you want to take your other thrust bearing. Wait, point at the camera. Take your other thrust bearing and just slip it in there, concave side out. Pull it back a little bit. All right, all right, all right. Can you get it on and now? Push it in. No, just push the bearing of the washer a little bit for that. All right. There we go, and that's it. That's all that is to it. Oh, all right. So that's how you assemble a piston. Second time was much better than the first time. I hope that was in frame. You need the right. Yeah. Take your clips. So now we're to the next point where we got to install these sir clips into the side of the piston. This is going to be a challenge. This is when you got to have good dexterity and hand strength. And you just want to hold your thumb there. We just watched the dude on YouTube do this. Ah, that's what this is for. I mean, like when I end of the piston head to keep the, uh, the the wrist pin in. This was the worst part of the uh, of this whole operation of building the pistons and the piston rods. Aside from figuring out how to keep the needle bearings in while assembling the piston rod into the piston head, clipping these little things in were a pain. You just had to line them up right and. You really have a lot of strength in forcing your fingers and your hands to force them into those little channels and grooves. But after I got the hang of it, it got a little bit easier, but it still just took a lot of force and 
finagling and finicking with. It probably took me um, probably a good half an hour, 45 minutes to get these six little clips forced in there. So maybe it'd be worth buying a tool if there's a tool out there for that. If you're going to do this at home. Is the wrist pin supposed to move? No, but if the clip is not clipped, the wrist pin will push out. And it's not. Huh? It's All right. So, we're done with that step now. So now that we have the three pistons assembled, the next step we're going to do is we're going to follow the book. It says you want to install the rings. Use care when spreading the rings. Use a ring expander. So basically all we're going to do to do the rings is we're going to slide the rings over the top of the piston. Install the top ring first and then install the bottom ring. So you, some things to watch out for is you want to make sure that you install the rings the right way up. They have this little pin there, the indexing pin, which keeps them from spinning around on the piston head. And so you want to install it where the gap on the, piston, on the ring is lined up with that. And you want to put this side up. The flat side goes to the bottom. The, the beveled side goes to the top. So. All right, so we're gonna try to do the bottom one first on this one. So let's uh, oil it up again, even though that made it slippery. Let's oil it up so that it's coated. Put a little blood on it too. All right, you wanna hold it again? That one. Next one. Oil it up. It up. Everything gets oiled thoroughly. And you want to line it up with your indexing pin. Make sure it's right way up. Spread it out. Just go ahead and spread it and forget it. one side on and just clip it in there all right there we go all right so now that we got our pistons done we've pretty much assembled all the, the pistons all the way we've got our rings on there we've got our needle bearings installed that was the hardest part of the day but once we figured it out it was actually pretty good we've installed our clips we've double checked them everything is right we've got our rings on there like i said on all three so now the piston assemblies are done the final step is to oil everything thoroughly. Take our little oil bottle and drizzle it all over everything and drop it in there. Oh yeah, look at that. It's like putting syrup on pancakes. Okay, so we're gonna package these up. We're gonna cover them. Everything's oiled up thoroughly. We're gonna cover them with a piece of newspaper so they don't get dusty. And piston assembly is complete. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next part of this series where we're gonna attack the crankshaft. We got the crankshaft hiding under here, so stay tuned for that. We're going to attack the crankshaft, all the bearings, the seals, the next episode.